praise the Lord and hallelujah. Papa, we give you all the glory. Indeed, you are God. You are good. You are strong. You are mighty. There is nothing you cannot do. That is why this morning you have awoken us and you have given us strength. We thank you for the gift of life and we thank you for all that, my Lord, you have in store for us today too. Thank you for your faithfulness and thank you for your love and kindness. Thank you, we pray, Spirit of God, that you take absolute control. Please speak to us today too, so we'll understand you better each day. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, I welcome you once again to the program. How do you understand the word of God? We will take our devotional reading from 1 Samuel chapter 2, the verses 6 to 8. 1 Samuel 2, 6 to 8. Let's hear the word of God. The Lord gives both death and life. He brings some down to the grave, but raises others up. The Lord makes some poor and others rich. He brings some down and lifts others. He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. He sets them among princes, placing them in seats of honor. For all the earth is the Lord's, and he has set the world in order. Brethren in the Lord, we all we draw our minds back to creation. We see that the, the earth was null and void, but the Lord God called everything into being. And when we see this wonderful world that he has created, we see that he himself is a great God. He has placed everything in order. Although men, although people, we are destroying the world that God created with so many things, with pollution and with so many things, but then the, the, the world is still in order. The Lord is still in control. He knows about the rich. He knows about the poor. And it is only God who lifts a person up. So when we look down from the verse number 8, we see that he says, He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. By the grace of God, when we look back at our lives and we look at our lives now, if you have accepted Jesus Christ to take control of your life, you will see the difference. You will see the difference the difference if only genuinely you have accepted Jesus if only you are working with him genuinely you will see the difference that indeed what the Bible says is true that when we come to Christ we have the new nature we've been born again and that the old has passed and the new has come brethren in the Lord it is only the Lord who breaks protocols and where people think that there is no hope, where people think that there will, there will be no one to lift us up, the Lord himself lifts us up. Where we have not even thought of to be, the Lord lifts us up and places us in those places. Hallelujah. We serve a living God and he knows the plans that he has for us. He says that the plans are good and they are not of evil. The plans are to give us hopes or to give us a hope and a future. So brethren in the Lord, walking with Jesus hand in hand, aligning, making sure that we are walking according to his word is what will make us prosperous. When we talk about prosperity, this is prosperity, knowing him and being rich in him, being rich in his word, being rich in whatever step he wants us to take. He says, when we seek first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, all other things will be added unto us. So our richness and our prosperity comes from knowing the Lord and making him known and then allowing him to direct us. Where people will take so many years to get, when the Spirit of God leads us, He takes us in a split of a second. So what are we waiting for? All that we need is to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior for Him to direct our path. Because we do not know even our future and why we are here on this earth. All we know is that God has given us the opportunity to know Him and then to serve Him and then to understand Him so that we'll be with Him in glory. By the work we have to do here on this earth, he will take us through 
And if we do not have him, how would we do the work? And how would we know even the plans that he has for us? So let's allow the Lord to direct our path and allow him to teach us his ways so that we will not be led astray by the enemy, but will walk according to the will of God. God richly bless you as you hearken unto the word of the Lord, as you cling unto it, because in the word of God there is hope, there is life eternal for everyone who comes to Jesus. God richly bless you. Please share the word, even as we all want to stand, we want to be aware of the coming of Christ. Do not be left out. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.